Welcome back. On this one, we're talking Adidas. Or for the guys across the pond, Adidas, Adidas, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to give you a listing of my Adidas running shoes and give you exactly what I use each shoe for, my rotation so to speak, if you've got a bias towards the Adidas brand. So this is not every single Adidas shoe, but just the ones I own, the ones I've actually ran in and therefore telling you what I use them for. Not necessarily what the spec sheet says or what the design is intended for them, but what I find works for me for each shoe. My name is Aubrey, I'm a runner, and I'm good with being me. I wanna thank you for taking me over 9,000 subscribers, and we're creeping onto that 10,000 mark. Sincerely, honestly, mind blown, approaching 10,000 in less than a year of giving this my everything. And that goes down to you guys. Thank you for supporting me and encouraging me to keep going. Let's get started. First shoe, we're gonna start maybe in weight. I'm gonna go from the heaviest shoe that Adidas makes to the lightest. Weighing in at 320 grams, the Primex 2 Strong. Now, a lot of criticisms be given because of that weight. For me personally, the tech that this shoe packs, it's understandable. Next up, 280 grams, the previous version, the Primex Strong, the OG. Now this is a loved shoe. I'm gonna talk to exactly why in a second. Now look, one of my favorites, Adidas Adi Zero Adios Pro 2. This here, excuse the shape. It's because when I'm doing the wizard transitions, they kind of get deformed. So, excuse that. But this weighed in at 249 grams. The next one after this one, one of my favorite running shoes ever, the Pro 3, 233 grams. This bad boy's got world records galore. And then lastly, the missus has hidden the scales. I couldn't weigh this one. So when she gets back home with the scales, I'll put the weight over here. In today's time, one of the key drivers on which shoe you wanna go with will be price. Again, let's go up and work our way down. 250 pounds, that's a lot of money. 159, I'm gonna put a boom here as to where you can get it, 159. 220, 220 pounds for this. I'm sure you can find deals, but for these ones, I've actually got the price from the Adidas website. So there you go. Wait, when there's a new version, the three, you can always get the previous version cheap. 89 pounds for this, and I've actually seen it cheaper, but the reliable source you can get it from, I'll put a link down in the description, 89 pounds for this. And then lastly, 85 pounds for the Takumi Sen 8, great shoe. Now let's talk about what these shoes are actually for and how I best use them, how they best serve me, and possibly they might serve you. Let's do it. Look, I'm gonna start with my favorite shoe amongst all of them. Now, I don't beat about the bush about this. This, this, this here, this here, this, is my favorite Adidas running shoe. A lot of people find it to be too bulky, too heavy. I ran a half marathon. I've, ever, I've only ever ran two half marathons in my life. And one of them was this, and I got a PB. Now, don't get me wrong, I set a low bar in, in terms of getting a PB. But the comfort, man, if you're not out here kicking out like four minute pique kind of pace, and you wanna actually enjoy running, and you don't wanna feel the hard ground beneath your feet, man, this here, Honestly, the Primex 2 Strong, in my opinion, is my favorite Adidas shoe. Here's why. It breaks all the rules. This thing has 50 millimeters of stack. That is not race legal, so you can't podium with it. It also has two carbon plates. When in your life have you heard of a shoe having two carbon plates? See, it's got a carbon plate up here, it's got another one down here, and it sandwiches this little puck over here, that bit there, Two carbon plates, 50 mil. I just love the experience. All right, then the Primex Strong, the OG version. I also love this one. Now this one, I don't know what it is and I can't explain it. This is for my long run. I don't do anything with pace. I'm not trying to do my rep session, intervals, speed workouts in this at all. I'm not even gonna race in it. I take this on my slow run for a long run the long runs, this, this thing works magic in keeping your legs fresh. Now, for some people, it could be a race issue. For me personally, this to me is exactly what I picture when I wanna talk comfort. 
long run, easy run, ignoring the pace, this is my go-to shoe. Similar, 50 mil stack, the cushioning is just amazing. Now, all of these shoes, Adidas, the common feature is gonna be this outsole. You know Continental, the guys that do car tires, when you can get a car tire manufacturer, manufacturing your outsole, you're on a winning one. Now, bang. Now look, you've been working hard, training for race day. What shoe are you gonna put on for race day? When it comes to 5K, 10K, I'll go as far as the half marathon, marathon, if that's your kind of thing. If time, if pace is a key thing, Honestly, in the Adidas line, I can't recommend anything that I own. I know we've got the Pro Evo one. A lot of people wanna say that in the comments. Point taken. For me personally, out of the shoes I actually own, I would love to have the Pro Evo one, but I don't have it. That there, boom, boom, boom. Oh, let me also say, let me go in this one. There's a guy who commented about, oh, let's take shots every time this guy says for me personally. Actually, let me show you the comment here. Bang. I then go, bang. Then he then goes, bang. Then I go, actually, no thanks, because bang. It's just how it goes. The reason I say for me personally, there will be people commenting in this video saying, actually, Aubrey, you've forgotten the Boston 12. You've forgotten um, the Supernova Rise. No, I haven't. I just don't have those shoes. So this is a very personal video to me. That way I'm not just speaking, reading off a spec sheet. I'm telling you what I use these shoes for and how I find them in the best case for me. So my man over there with the comments, keep going. I engage with you nonetheless. Boom, the Pro 2. 39 millimeters of stack in this thing. Now don't get me wrong, just because the version three came out, therefore this automatically stops being a good shoe. Oh no, 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 no. This is what I use for my speed workouts, intervals. I simply demote the previous race day shoe from that line to be my workout shoe, and then the new one is what I'll take out on race day, because it will still have that pop. But when it comes to speed sessions, whether you're doing reps, intervals, that can be relied upon. The Adidas, Adi Zero, Adios Pro 2. If you can get deals on this, honestly, you're not gonna be wasting your money. However, for some people, they find this to be better, the Takumi Sen series. Now, this is now on version 10. The one I have is version eight. And to me, that's good enough for me. The only criticism I have for this shoe, it's 30 millimeters of stack at the heel for what I do for my build, I find that to be a bit too thin. However, there have been a few times when I've been on the track where I've done reps in this and it gives you ground contact, immediate return of energy. Don't get me wrong, it's still packed with the energy rods. So it does pack a lot of tech within it in such a minimalistic package. But for me, again, me, my build, my kind of running, I find this to be a bit too thin. So actually, I've demoted this to be my walking shoe. This is the shoe I wear to the gym. Because of the color flare, I like the personality it packs, but I don't do a lot of running in this simply because of that minimalistic midsole. I prefer high stack, I'm a bigger guy, and that is just my preference. So a few shoes to know that I don't have, you should definitely consider. Supernova Rise from Adidas and a Boston 12. A lot of people are creating hype about these shoes. And oh, oh yeah, before I go, I need to show you. Fanboy activated. Believe in the run, send me out this stuff. Thank you very much. And if you want to see detailed reviews of these shoes, I'm going to put the Primex Too Strong review over here and the Adidas Adi Zero Adios Pro 3 over here. Thank you for taking time to watch this. My name is Aubrey. Head to the clouds, feet on the ground. All right.